Hey Scorpios, how are y'all? It's me, Wes. So I was meditating on you guys' energy and you're getting ready to have a um, person come into your life. This is gonna be that relationship that you've been praying for. So um, get ready. Um, let's see. Because yeah, when I was meditating, I was seeing the uh, Knight of Cups as well as I was picking up on the lovers. Mm -hmm. Ten of Wands, you've probably been stressing out about things that's going on in your life. Yeah, feeling like you <laughs> oh, are not worthy. Mm -hmm. Thinking like you're just meant to just be alone, like this is the end, this is it. Like, no, no. You're getting ready to take off. You've been doing the work, you know? You've been working hard. Um, on yourself and you're a little too hard on yourself. Yeah, a lot of y'all been in hermit mode And so while you've been in hermit mode, hermit mode, you've been healing I don't know if you realize it now. You've been healing and you've been doing the work and you healing is what's helping you get to this next um, Step and that's this relationship because who wants to be in a relationship that's not healed? Mm -hmm. See the five of swords you have with the um with the four swords right here. The five of swords it could be your energy before. Like, oh my gosh, everybody's in a relationship and I can't get in one. The four of swords is you like taking the time to actually heal. Um, also, too, I'm picking up with definitely a lot of the nine of swords energy in your head. Like, wow, what is going on? I've been doing the work. So, um, you know, no more of that attitude or anything like that. It's, it's really, the real deal is coming in for you. Mm-hmm. The higher thing too, and is don't worry about your spiritual journey. You know, this person is on their spiritual journey moving forward. They're ready to heal too. Yeah. But this Ten of Cups is out here. This means like the ultimate happiness. Y'all are going to be happy together. Also too, Spirit is pointing out to me just now with that higher thing with the Ten of Cups. Don't let anybody ruin this. I was picking up on your family with that Ten of Cups. So yeah, Spirit said yes. You know, make this is one of those relationships that you're going to have to make sure that you and your person are on the same vibration and communicate a lot before you start introducing your relationship to the world. You know, you know, and, and put family into that world <laughs> because there's going to be some people that don't like that you are happy, you know. So with that three of swords coming out here, you really have to be strict and firm about your relationship. Yeah, see, justice in the reverse. People don't want you to be happy. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's and it's a lot to do with your family because of your beliefs. They feel like you're wrong for wanting to be on a high vibration, things like that. But they've been secretly trying to hide you and talk down on you. And they couldn't do it. They couldn't put all this fear into you. Yeah, that part, that part is over with this death card. And you continue to move forward. Also, too, the five of swords is being pointed out to me. People have been trying to project their negativity onto you. Like, make it seem like, you know, the fact that you're on your spiritual journey is the reason why you don't have anybody coming towards you. That's not it. So be mindful of um, the negativity. Don't let it hurt you. I know words can hurt, but don't let it hurt you. What else, there? Yeah, see, nine of cups with the tower with the nine of wands. These enemies, these same people that are wishing you ill intent, they're going to have to watch you get everything that you want. The nine of cups is out here. So anything else that you feel like you are hoping to get, you're um, wanting, things like that, manifest the stuff in because this is the time. The nine of cups is out here. You do have the tower, which speaks of divine change, and the nine of wands because people are going to be scared of you. <laughs> people are starting to be like, what the heck? My tactics, my manipulation is not working. Yeah, people are starting to see that you're starting to overcome. Mm -hmm. With the Four of Pentacles, people are going to start holding back from you. They're not going to be talking to you that much. Yeah, King of Swords, because you're making people reflect on themselves and wishing they would have left you alone, as well as 
um, wishing that they would have did like all this manipulation things like that, and also that the spiritual practices behind um, behind the scenes that they was doing. Sorry, y'all. I know I said that twice just now, but the Page of Cups. You're gonna have you know these family members instead of coming for you and attacking you, they're gonna be kissing your ass. So yeah, be mindful because they do need your help out here with the Six of Pentacles. It's like at first, and y'all check this out with the Six of Pentacles. They was breadcrumbing you. But now that the scales have been balanced, they need your help. But they still have their little tricks and stuff up their sleeves. So, and you're going to notice, you're going to notice everything that I'm talking about. You're going to witness all of this. And so this is going to let you know, keep it moving. Keep it moving. And this is also, you know, help you recognize that you're on the right path. You're doing the right things. You know, with this King of Wands, this is this symbolic to you getting out there and doing the work. You know, you're a go-getter. You're on a positive note. So, yeah, it's time. Get ready. Divine Union is coming in. So, congratulations, y'all. Be happy. And, you know, again... The, these haters that's going to be in your energy, don't let them discourage you. Don't even let them in your energy. Don't even let people know that y'all are in a relationship. Until that you feel like you are in your relationship and everything is solid between you and your partner, don't let anybody know. Seriously. Because you have people trying to come in your energy purpose, trying to ruin y'all. And your partner has people. Mm -hmm, the magician is out here. Your partner has people in their energy trying to ruin them as well. So y'all be mindful of that. Page of Swords is out here because the Page of Swords is uh, mean people are like watching, gossiping, things like that. But it's more of a watching energy that I'm picking up here with this Page of Swords because people are wanting to see what you have going on so they can come in and end it. Shady people. See these red eyes? When I showed y'all these cards, them, them red eyes on that horse, that's what was being pointed out to me. Envy. Envy, envy, envy. People are mad that you're happy, that you've healed, that you've made it through, that you've persevered through so much, and they cannot stand it. So, anyways, let them haters be them, and, you know, you keep moving forward. Yeah. Always remember to balance your energy. Remain humble. And also, too, this temperance means self-control. So, you're going to need this temperance angel, this self-control, because of the simple fact that you do have people coming in your energy, trying to throw you off your path. And that's with all type of manipulations, whether it's um, mental, uh, playing on your mental, or this, you know, talking negative to you or talking crazy, or um, what, uh, manipul um, manipulation practices, things like that. Cause I'm, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm picking up a lot. And you could probably notice these people coming to you, they're tongue twisted because they don't even know what to say. So be mindful of those type of energies. But like I said, I feel like you're already doing good. You know, you're already on your path. The force force is out here. And that is definitely symbolic of healing. And you've been wondering, okay, when is my turn? When is my when is my turn? When is God gonna bless me with my partner, my my person? It's here now. It is here. Confirmation just now. Thank you, Spirit. But also, too, with the temperance, remain humble. And I, I want to say remain quiet, too, about your relationship. Don't let any of these foes, these enemies, these friends, these backstabbers, don't let any of them know that you are in a relationship. Because, Tom, you do. And you're going to notice this. And remember I said this. They're going to come for you. Even a year later, they're going to come for you just to try to be petty and stuff. And, you know... You know, in that year of you and your partner being in, y'all going to already be locked in together. So, at that point, it doesn't matter. And that's if you decide to wait a year. You know, your terms is your terms. Um, I just said a year because that's something that I would do personally. So, you know, hey, um, because I value my relationship. And especially if this is something I've been waiting on and doing the work, I definitely want to make sure me and my partner are already locked in together. That way, nobody can come between us because me and my partner are already so solid, you know. All right, y'all. I love y'all. See y'all next time. Bye.